So we're going to talk about some neutral tips to help you get good at neutral. These are my top three tips. Tips that have helped me personally get better at neutral. I've suffered a lot in my neutral game. This probably used to be one of my weakest aspects and I've gotten a lot better at it. So let me show you guys what helped me. Tip number one, I'm going to save for tip number three because it helped me the most. New tip number one, you need to be using your assist as if they're just one button special moves that you can call at any time. And you especially need to be advancing and covering space while moving forward and using those assists. So for example, uh, this beam assist, if you want him to not get smacked, then you need to be covering the space in front of him or above him like this. That way if I block you, I still have something coming at you. It allows you to be more safe using your assist in this way. Another really good way to use your assist is to like jump over them and call your assist. This is a fantastic thing to do in neutral. And it, it's the same principle. So they can't hit your assist because they're behind you. If you have your assist on deck and you're not saving it for a specific reason, you need to be approaching safely by using your assist. If you have a beam assist like GT Goku, you can just call it out straight up for no reason and try to get close to your opponent at the same time while being safe. That's the priority is you want to try to be as safe as possible while advancing toward your opponent. Another good way to use your assist is to, anytime you would they would expect to block something is a good time to call your assist instead because if you're in the air like this, let's say I'm doing something like this, right? They might be expecting to 2H me or do something like this if I'm up here. They're, gonna, they're not going to come after me or super dash because they're going to be expecting to wait here in 2H. And that's a fantastic time to call an assist. Instead of doing this, right? I can do like this and then try to confirm off of it. So that's tip number one. Use your assist more and use them safely. Tip number two. I want to talk about super dash a little bit a lot of newcomers use super dash to get in neutral and then as you start learning more you use it less and then as you become more and more advanced you learn how to use it more so this is what I want to show you super dash is an amazing tool but it is not just a scrub get in for free tool and you can't treat it that way you need to treat it like an advanced tool and you only use it in certain special circumstances, right? You don't ever want to use Super Dash when you're outside of about this range. This range or closer, and that applies to the same for vertical, so this range about super jump height above the opponent, or regular jump height about that range. So about three character lengths is the best range to use Super Dash at because it's fast enough to where you're going to get in and they're not going to down heavy you and it hand, it really complements the first thing I just showed you using your assist if you use both of these in conjunction it's like a 50 50 assist and then super dash assist and then fall super dash and then assist so super dash is tip number two but more specifically using super dash at the appropriate times tip number three and this is like the most important one. This is probably the thing that helped my neutral game the most and you should be doing this. You need to learn how to advance while blocking. There are certain ways you can advance while blocking and you see pro players do this all the time. So one way is to dash and immediately hold block and that whole time during that dash it looks like I can get hit but I can't. If they were to put out a button I would be blocking. Another way to do it is to dash jump and then hold back. See, I'm holding back this whole time. And even if you go over the opponent, if you hold back, I won't get hit. Let me uh, let me record the dummy doing that so I can show you what I mean. Right? So I held back that whole time. You see, even though he's holding forward, he's he still blocks. And that would still happen if it was switched around. The reason why that works is because there's a feature in this game where it auto blocks for you. If you're in the air and you're holding backwards, 
as long as I'm facing that direction. So this won't work if I super jump because she turns around. But if I regular jump or if I dash jump, you see how I'm still facing that direction? That means that I can still hold block that way, even though I'm on this side of the opponent. So as long as I'm holding block backwards from my character, normally it's not like that in other games, but as long as I'm holding backwards from my character, I'll be able to block both directions. I'll never get crossed up. So that's something you should know. Something else. A lot of people, if they try to block while super jumping, if, the, if you hold down back, you'll fall super fast. And if you hold up back, you won't even move forward, which is the point. You'll, you'll move backwards. So if you want to super jump and advance forward at the same time, when you super jump, you hold back. You hold back and this right here super jumping and holding back is like Really good for closing the distance safely most options that are on the ground are just gonna straight up whiff If they come meet you in the air, you'll be able to block all right Recapping here tip number one is use your assist in neutral Especially safely you want to try to Safeguard your assist so they don't get hit either by being in front of them so the assist still comes out and doesn't get smacked or by having your assist uh, be on the other side that way they can't get smacked from behind that's tip number one tip number two was super dashing more advancedly don't treat super dash as just a universal tool to get in it's a fantastic way to, to uh, it's a fantastic thing to do in neutral but you need to mix it up with using your assist you don't need to be super dashing this far away. Super dashing above your opponent and under your opponent like this are really good times to super dash, especially if they're like super jump height. Because just waiting here to down heavy uh, sometimes is good and sometimes it's not. It might be safer to just like jump up and light or super dash before they do. Um, super dashing in general is better when they're in the air. But it's something you got to be aware of to mix it in with your assist. And then to recap, tip number three was advancing while blocking. And you can do that while dashing on the ground. You can do that by dash jumping. And if you want to super jump and block at the same time, you have to hold back and not down back or up back. All right. And that is my top three tips for getting better at neutral. Hey, enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have an idea for a video you'd like to see, leave it in the comments below. Bye bye.